Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Wes, the Average Trainer, and in this episode I am going to be opening up the Nintendo Select edition of Animal Crossing New Leaf for the Nintendo 3DS, which is the newest, well, one of the newest games for the Nintendo Selects line, and I was able to get it for very, very, very cheap using that Amazon Prime savings. So I thought, hey, I'll go ahead and pick up a new one and I'll start a new world on it, and yeah, we'll have a lot of fun. So right off the bat, you can see that this art, super cute. Super cute, I really like Reese right there. He's just building his chair, just building. And then you got him in the hamster wheel thingy. And then you see the town in the background, couple of the villagers, and they're just generally cute. You can see a present at the top. It says, welcome to your new life. Something's always happening in the world of Animal Crossing. Mark, make your markers mayor, nonstop fun every single day. Design your home and style your character, though not as well as in Happy Home Designer. And visit friends towns or have them visit yours. Perfect. Timing for them to put this on the Nintendo Select line, select line when the Amiibo functionality is coming. Oh, and the most important thing, basic reading ability is needed to fully enjoy this game. Which is why this game is fantastic for education. You need to get this if you want to educate your children. E, Comic Mischief. Okay. Comic Mischief. Got it. All right. So, anyway, the uh, you know, spine's pretty much uh, the same, except you have the little Nintendo Select logo right there, as I'm assuming. And this is still shrink wrap, so I'm going to go ahead and take it back here real quick. Use my keys to make a little incision so I can get it open. That was kind of a failure, but I don't know. It's not working. Don't you hate shrink wrap sometimes? I really do. Granted, there's not a whole lot in this case that can really be, you know, viewed upon opening. There's the game. I'm assuming it's the same game, or sorry, the same game card, basically. I don't see a Nintendo Select logo on there because I I, I got it digitally because I lived in Korea at the time and I wasn't willing to wait. Then you have all these literature considering or concerning the game manual and stuff, which is kind of sad. You don't get to see any game manuals in person anymore unless you buy something from like, unless you buy like The Witcher 3 or something. But you know, that's that's the inside. It's kind of, kind of boring, but... There you have it, Animal Crossing New Leaf, and I'm going to go ahead and say right now that I'm hoping to start a Let's Play type thing, or West Plays, if you will, of Animal Crossing New Leaf, and it's really going to be a way for me to test out how well I can do some recording of the 3DS screen with my iPhone camera. I'm kind of going all iPhone lately for everything I do with my videos, so I'm hoping to give that a shot and, you know, do a few days, maybe several days worth of videos concerning Animal Crossing New Leaf. And yeah, it just seems like the best way to best way to do it. Or best game to start with, I guess, because you can do quick little 10 minute videos and then you're done and that's, that's, that's it. You know, little video diaries I can just pop on here and there. No discernible end really. I'm not really gonna wait until I, you know, pay off all of the houses. So there you have it. That's uh, the Nintendo Select Animal Crossing New Leaf reissue thing, playable in 2D and 3D, but 3D mode is only for ages seven plus. So keep that in mind, rated E for everyone. There you have it. I'm Wes, the Average Trainer, and until next time, stay average. Goodbye.